Hey guys, welcome to Room with Kiran and Sachin. And today we are going to make video about our Ladakh ride, which we did in June 2015. Uh, basically, we are we are getting lot of questions about our Ladakh ride because I think just a week ago we have posted the trailer of our Ladakh ride. So there are a lot of people questioning us about the which bike we can use and how can we go, the expenses, the hotel bookings, a lot of things, a lot of things. So we are making this video. related to ladakh everything i mean everything uh, about ladakh uh, uh, so we are going to make this video we are make, going to make it in the pointers uh, kind of a way so hope this video will be very helpful for you to plan your ladakh ride this year so let's get started room <laughs> so uh, the first point uh, we have been getting lot of requests regarding uh, ladakh ride is that uh, what bike uh, can go to ladakh some people are saying mere paas avenger hai can avenger go there can bullet go there some people are saying i have 150 cc yama fz uh, some people are saying i have uh, smaller displacement bike apache 160 so the question is not about which bike will go Uh, you have to uh, keep in mind that any bike can go to ladakh it's the rider who who has the mentality and the capability to ride to ladakh and we would say that uh, i went uh, i was riding bullet electra 350 and she was riding uh, avenger 220 and frankly speaking uh, her avenger was performing really well in those conditions so what do you think in uh, what bike can go there I think any bike can go. Uh, at least I think it should be above 150 cc. Yeah, at I least. think uh, if it is above 150 cc bike, then it will be little uh, safer. And if if you have uh, more than 200 cc bike, then it will be a, an added advantage because the high mountain passes are really tough to uh, climb, and 150 cc bike will find little difficulties. But uh, you can. Uh, complete the ride uh, with 150 cc bike i uh, see uh, it's upon you people that how much uh, effortlessly you want to ride on those kind of terrains so yes, yes. i we would uh, prefer above 150 cc which will be yes. which will be effortless yes so yeah because uh, even the luggage and uh, the things you carry on your bike will you know increase the weight and then yes. the uh, inclined part is yes. something which is you know creates problem so yes, yes. and if you have a pillion with you then yeah. uh, 150 yeah. you have to have 150 cc yes. plus uh, bike to uh, do the ladakh ride comfortably so yes. that's it uh, let's, about let's be frank about this see yes. uh, if we say that any bike can go to ladakh aisa nahi hai matlab agar aap if you are traveling with pillion so for us yes. and to be very frank i think 150 cc plus bikes would do good in those terms yes Uh, so the another point is route planning uh, uh, amongst us sachin is a planner he always plans all the route because i'm very bad in directions thank you thank you uh, see uh, see that that's tr the truth is the truth can i catch up see uh, i don't know directions i am very bad in route planning so it's always sachin who does it matlab uske sir pe baith jati hu ki chal yahan jana hai and he he makes sure he make a good itinerary and uh, keeps everything on place so i think he will go through it yes so uh, coming back back to the uh, route thing so there are three routes uh, primarily uh, from where you can go to uh, ladakh le okay so the first route is from uh, manali to le which is the uh, up climb very up, uh, difficult up climb the second route is uh, via jammu shrinagar kargil and le so uh, these are the two main uh, routes you uh, you have you can opt for and one more route is you can uh, uh, fly from uh, wherever you stay and uh, till delhi and uh, you can go from delhi manali or delhi jammu shrinagar le we uh, initially also we thought uh, that we will uh, go by train till uh, delhi or manali and from there we'll uh, start our ride but uh, later on we thought that uh, we'll start from mumbai and go till ladakh and come back so the route which we followed was like from mumbai to gujarat gujarat to rajasthan uh, then from rajasthan we uh, 
took uh, Haryana route, Haryana, then Ambala, Panipat, and then Jalandhar. From Jalandhar, we uh, went till Jammu, then Srinagar, Patni Top, and we stayed in Sonmarg. From Sonmarg, we went up till Kargil via Zozila Pass. That was the first highest pass for us. From Kargil, uh, we uh, went till uh, Leh City uh, via Nakila and Fotula Loop. So from Leh, we went to highest motorable road, uh, Khardungla, and we initially planned to go to uh, Hunder and uh, Nubra Valley, Nubra Valley uh, Desert, but uh, we had a lot of problems in our bike, so we had to cancel Nubra Valley. So we came back from Khardungla to Leh City, again stayed in Leh, and then from Leh, we went till uh, Pangong Lake via Changla uh, Pass, which is very difficult uh, from there we again came back to Leh and from Leh we uh, reached Manali via Leh Manali route via Jispa, Tanglangla, Baralachala pass till Manali and from Manali uh, we uh, came back to Chandigarh and we transported our bikes and from Chandigarh we uh, took train till Mumbai and that is how we completed our ride. Home. Uh, if you have around three weeks of leave, leaves, then you can uh, do it uh, the way we did it. Uh, if you have two weeks of leave, then you can transport your bikes and then you can start the ride from Manali or Delhi and come back to Delhi, transport the bikes from train or VRL or Gati or TC or whatever you feel so. A lot of options for uh, transportation and that way you can complete the ride. So that's all, that's all about uh, route planning. Another point is your bike preparation and servicing part which is the most important part uh, if you're going with your bike. Okay, so uh, if you're riding 150cc uh, of your uh, 150cc and you have crossed 50,000 kilometers then changing clutch plate is, a, is the most important thing. Do change your clutch plate. However, if you are uh, if you are owning 250 cc or uh, above uh, bike uh, above cc bike, then uh, clutch plate doesn't get worn out so easily. So I don't think so. Uh, for that purpose, you need to change your clutch plate. However, it is always good to uh, ask your mechanic about it. Uh, he's the best person to guide you that whether you have to change your clutch plate or you don't have to change your clutch plate. Another thing, if you are riding one plus one, that means if you are riding with your pillion clutch plate gets worn out more easily so make sure you change your clutch plate even though it is not completely worn out still if you feel that your clutch plate should be changed or your mechanic suggests you that your clutch plate should get changed then do change it because you're riding with your pillion and in those terrains your clutch plate is the most important thing which gets into pressure before you right because all it uh, one yes right because you will always be on first or second gear with yes. your half clutch yes on. and you will be scared most of the time so you will be using half clutch so your complete clutch is not engaged so that's why uh, changing the clutch plate before the ride is very much advisable uh, yes and it's important yes so along with that uh, do change your clutch cables and uh, your accelerator cable and do change your spark plugs as well and whatever the necessary things yeah. uh, in the bike uh, ob obviously you need to change the uh, engine oil as well uh, have, the routine uh, things yes, the routine, routine things. yeah normal servicing kind of thing yes yeah. so that is about the uh, what things you need to uh, do with the bike before going to the ride and coming back to uh, what modification uh, you are supposed to do uh, uh, along with the uh, preparation of the bike I think uh, most of the people will put uh, those Ladakh carriers which uh, Delhi people will get it in Karol Bagh and in Mumbai you get it at multiple uh, many uh, places Grant Road is there and there are so many uh, local vendors also who does those carriers and all so that uh, makes your life easy keeping your saddlebag and covering up with the uh, uh, terrapulin or uh, the saddlebag covers so that is a good part to uh, modify your bike according to your yeah. needs frankly by when we rode to Ladakh uh, there wasn't any carriers uh, not 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 neither in uh, bullet nor for my bike yes we had yeah. good saddlebags with good uh, uh, covers, covers yeah. but we had to carry uh, tarpaulin so to uh, 
cover it because sometimes your bike will be uh, kept in uh, open space and in overnight uh, there they might be snowfall so to avoid such uh, cases tarpaulin carrying a tarpaulin is uh, very much uh, good option yeah. yes uh, another thing is uh, uh, you have to you would have to change your tires because your stock tires doesn't have that good grip while yeah. riding on those loose soils yeah yeah so the button types of tires would be uh, very much uh, good in those terrain so we also changed our tire from street tires uh, will work but uh, if there is uh, water or muddy scenarios like uh, you will face it in Zozilla thankfully we did not get muddy Zozilla we got clear uh, dry Zozilla uh, pass so in those kind of uh, places you have to have good button tires or uh, the off-roading types of tires which you get um, do check for your brakes as well uh, brake pad change the brake yeah, pads brake clean pads. them and check your front and rear suspension especially for bullets and avenger check your uh, oil seals of your bikes mm -hmm. because those are the things which will be very much tested in those uh, condition yeah. because after the ride both of my bullets front uh, oil seal were completely gone and for Kiran one uh, one oil seal was completely gone so I had to change both the front suspension rods so that's it about uh, how to prepare your bike and what parts you need to change and need to take care of uh, before going to Ladakh so another important topic before you go to Ladakh is uh, riding gears shopping at what kind of riding gears uh, you should have yeah so uh, let's start from your head uh, the most important thing is your helmet always take full faced helmet don't go for half faced helmet because uh, in, uh, because when you're riding in Ladakh your cheeks will get freezed if you have that half face helmet so yes. do get uh, do get a full faced helmet and please don't compromise for helmet because helmet is the most important thing most important thing which saves your head and it's crown of course for every human being who rides by so don't compromise on helmet yes. First thing, second thing is your riding jacket. Yes, so we had a Cramster Breezer at that point of time because we were very much strict on our budget so that was the best we could buy but uh, it was the uh, mesh jacket so try to buy or if you don't have any jackets currently try to buy a jacket which has minimal uh, mesh. mesh in it. Uh, so if you are uh, riding to Ladakh for or uh, you don't ride much in uh, winter season or uh, your place where you belong is very hot then you can go for a mesh jacket but uh, if you are uh, particularly buying any jacket for winter conditions so definitely go for textile jackets it will give lot of wind protection and lot of safety as well yeah so but again if you're yeah. taking a mesh jacket you can always put your thermal liner and yes. your rain liner in, in inside your jacket uh, which will of course save you uh, with the cold breeze um, yeah so mesh jacket is also advisable if you want to if you uh, for all the weathers yes if you want to write in all the weathers not just for Ladakh specifically yes. uh, mesh jacket is also fine not not an issue yeah you can wear uh, thermal liner then t-shirt then your mesh jacket and still you feel cold then you put your raincoats over that yes. so that's how we got saved there yeah and the next part is your lower body part uh, you can always buy uh, riding pant there are many options for riding pant so if you are strict on budget then if you can't afford to have a riding jacket and riding pant you can always go for a good elbow guard and knee guard at least wear those because uh, when we were in uh, Rajasthan and we that time we did not had uh, good riding pants but our knees were saved by the cheap ones really cheap one cheap one 400 rupees for pair uh, we were using those knee guards and we did not get hurt by those knee guards yeah. so always it, was, it wasn't branded okay, it wasn't Cramster or Rhinox so nothing nothing like nothing. it was just a local shop a local cheap kind of a elbow guard and a yes. knee guard but we were saved big time big time yes Rajasthan, otherwise right? we wouldn't have been uh, standing or sitting here and yes. talking about this thing so yes. Always uh, give uh, utmost uh, priority. priority to uh, safety gears guys. Yeah. 
So the next part is shoes. Shoes, riding shoes. Riding shoes is very important again because uh, you will be getting multiple water crossing. And uh, waterproof uh, riding uh, shoes will help you a lot to uh, you know keep your legs uh, keeps your, keep your leg dry, dry uh, yeah. and warm. Uh, keep your leg dry and warm. Uh, see, we could have bought uh, gum boots, okay? Yes. But gum boots doesn't have those kind of grips. Uh, on it's rubber soils. part, uh, rubber uh, yeah. part. So your uh, feet will keep uh, sliding on your footrest. So exactly. having a good boots uh, is really recommended. Yes. However, still, uh, if again, you are on budget. You can uh, carry your uh, normal shoes and buy gum boots, and uh, you can cross of the course. water crossing. It is again. We are giving our inputs that mm -hmm. we had tarmac tour boots. Yeah. Those were really useful only. Uh, in one water crossing where uh, the water went inside our uh, shoes because that uh, that path was uh, very dangerous yes. and water was uh, uh, above uh, uh, knee, 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 length, knee yeah. length yeah so our complete legs and were i think uh, it was uh, I, uh, just a day uh, two a week before i think we bought our boots right yes uh, so before going to ladakh a week back uh, we bought those yeah we decided to uh, not take gumboots and uh, yes. buy a proper shoes because i uh, see uh, whatever things you buy for your ladakh ride if, and if you don't have it yes. right now you are going to use it even for all your future rides yes okay, so, uh, so even after two years those yeah, shoes are still working fine working fine so yes yeah, so uh, don't compromise if you uh, yeah, but of course if you are tight on budget then it's okay uh, we cannot say anything about it but yes if you if you have the leeway of taking all those stuffs yes please do, do take it uh, gloves for gloves uh, we used uh, rhinox gloves half gloves at the time but again we would recommend uh, full gloves because if you can add 2000 you can of course pay more 1000 bucks extra and uh, get yeah, a yeah we even uh, invested some more amount in that uh, kiran had rhinox gloves mm. i had cramster blaster gloves that was the shorter one and we had uh, what that pro biker gloves as well uh, so that if uh, rain comes we could uh, ride with those gloves mm -hmm. on so those gloves were already with us mm -hmm. along with that uh, i bought dsg hydra which is waterproof glove but uh, that glove is very thick so very thick. kiran uh, selected like i won't be riding with this so i'll put you, some uh, it was very uh, very i mean a lot of spongy kind of thing and uh, when you can when you have to uh, uh, hold your handles yeah. uh, the grip is not so good not so good yeah. in those so, so it again depends so this is all about uh, what all riding gears you are supposed to buy if you haven't bought already so these are the things you need to buy so the next most important uh, topic is uh, what all spare parts you need to carry while on uh, Ladakh ride as I've already told uh, clutch cable and accelerator cable are very important along with that uh, try to get uh, jumper cable if you can if your battery gets died in some somewhere between you can always jump start your battery carry one extra headlight bulb as well or carry a couple of fuse uh, for your bike because uh, there might be chances you you'll be on long ride that uh, uh, some fuse might go kaput so ask your mechanics if your bike's tires are tubeless tires then uh, you don't have to worry much you just uh, carry puncture kit and tire inflator uh, rescue tech is the tire inflator which we use we'll put the link in the description below which we bought in 2015 and it's still working fine and if your uh, bike's tire is tube tire then carry couple of tubes and uh, those uh, tube patches if your existing tube has many punctures then you can put those patch and you can uh, resume your ride from that uh, another thing is uh, you have to carry a chain lube and chain cleaner because uh, the chains are the one which will which will make your ride smoother right so chain cleaner and yeah. chain lube uh, would be uh, suggested by us suggested by us another thing uh, you should carry a basic thing like hammer wrench and screwdriver so these three things is the basic uh, toolkit which you should always have while going to Ladakh ride or any any ride. Yes. So these three things is important. Yes, and I would like to add to that uh, if you are riding Avenger, then carry uh, footrest as well because 
older avenger at least we know that uh, their footrests were very weak, very weak. and we had to uh, change the footrest mm -hmm. in rotang pass yeah we were so, sitting uh, yes. in rotang and we were fitting those uh, yes uh, yeah. so carry footrest and uh, carry uh, brake and clutch levers as well mm -hmm. we carried those as well we did whatever you feel necessary or if you want if you want to take extra care uh, you can carry more spares also yeah. but uh, keep the weight on your bike in mind and carry don't uh, oh, take wait, yes, uh, yes. Yeah. bungee cord is very important for your luggage if you feel that you will need three bungee cord take five bungee cords because bungee cord will help you a lot to tie your jerry cans or any of the loose stuffs which will you know come out from your bike and all those things so yeah so this is all about this pair yes. which you need to carry for your bike yeah. Uh, so another point is uh, what are clothes and uh, stuffs you need to carry for your Ladakh ride. So you will be going for your Ladakh ride at least for two weeks. Yes. So uh, the most important thing uh, which you need to carry is six or seven pairs of undergarments, four to five t-shirts, one pair of jeans, raincoat which should be of good quality, thermal wear. Uh, you can uh, you can take Lux or Jockey thermal wear. Uh, we would recommend Jockey thermal wear because yes. we bought that. Yes, we have been using since two years, and yeah. they are uh, they have been very good to us. So yeah, it's awesome. It keeps us warm. Uh, four pairs of socks, one pair of woolen socks, woolen hand gloves. Uh, another thing is surgical gloves. You, uh, okay, you can always wear it on your uh, riding gloves, which will be helpful uh, so that your riding gloves doesn't get wet uh, yes. when it's when it's snowing or raining. Uh, but again, I didn't. You, I didn't. Uh, it was wasn't helpful for me because your hand will become more slippery because of those uh, surgical rubber gloves. gloves love yes. rubber gloves. Another thing is you need a muffler. Yeah. So the buy yeah. thinner muffler, which is very warmer. Very warmer. Very yes. Yeah. And that is our personal experience because mm -hmm. we have one uh, thick muffler. Yes. Uh, जो बहुत ज़्यादा है, दिखता है, बहुत गर्मी देगा, लेकिन it is useless and yes, it, 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 is. it will become, make your neck too bulky. Uh, make sure you have a good sweater. If you don't have any sweaters, then uh, go to Decathlon. I think every uh, major cities have uh, a Decathlon. So most of the things which we have told you guys regarding the clothes and sweaters and raincoats, you will get it in Decathlon. So spend one day at Decathlon and buy maximum things for your Ladakh ride. Okay, along with that, you also have to take UV protected sunglasses. It is easily available in uh, a Decathlon. You will get glare shop so you can get it from there uh, you have to take sunscreen yes and okay. apply it apply it it's yes, very yes, important yes. whichever part of your body is exposed to sun yes. you have to apply it there your face let it be your face your hand or neck anywhere anywhere sunscreen is very important because yes. uh, you know, so UV protect UV rays can actually harm your skin. It can give you cancer, and there are a lot of things. And yes. uh, Ladakh, Ladakh UV rays is very hard. It's dry desert, so dry uh, desert. look at the wrinkles on people's faces from Over Ladakh. There. So yes. another thing is medicines. You have to take first aid box. Uh, first aid box, uh, which will have Dimox. Dimox is for high altitude. Yes. So always, uh, whenever you are starting any uh, up climb or high altitude mountain then have one Dimox in the morning after your breakfast do not have it on empty stomach after breakfast have one Dimox keep on regularly drinking water mm. so that you will not get nausea kind of uh, feeling or headache or something like that and do not think over think that uh, you are getting nausea or you are getting headache in Do fact uh, in fact even after having dimox i was uh, i was i was feeling nausea and i had a headache uh, and lot of things which happened yes yeah so uh, don't rely on di dimox completely but again don't get disheartened that if you are getting a small mild yes. headache or anything like that so yes take yes. dimox which and if you thing. have any medical conditions uh, then consult your doctor and mm. uh, ask them that you are go going to ladakh so what kind of medicines, medicines you yeah. need to carry along with that uh, you need to carry all those necessary cross in then sari down for headache and uh, we carry uh, bike for stomach related issues 
Because it is one of our favorite uh, tablet uh, yes, because, because Sachin he eats like you know you know uh, what he did in our south right uh, so if you don't know then uh, read our uh, 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 travel log in our on our FB yes I keep on eating so <laughs> sometimes yes. I get uh, not sometimes uh, you like yes, sometimes <laughs> not not always yes so Biconol is yes. a, a, one of our favorite tablet it's yes. Ayurvedic tablet which will help your stomach pain or anything whichever problem you have for a stomach just in you know few minutes yes so uh, chutki mein kaam <laughs> <laughs> so yeah crocin ceridon bicunol take bandages bandage yes. detol uh, and uh, you know all those first aid kind of things so along with the uh, clothes thing and medicines uh, you need to carry some glucon d or electrol powder or tetra pack tetra pack would be very much uh heavy to carry so so those kind of energy uh, drinks or some dry fruits uh badam uh, then cashews and then some raisins and, and dates, dates. Uh, carry uh, these dry fruits which will give uh, very good energy in your bodies when there is uh, less food or like you are uh, tired of eating noodles or the food which you don't eat uh, normally so that's all about uh, i think uh, the things you need to carry the clothes and the uh, first aid things and yes. the thermal clothes and all those things which you need yes. to carry for your and that right so let's talk uh, how we booked uh, rooms or tents while uh, riding through ladakh or uh, how we did it and how you can do it so uh, we did not uh, book to via any online app uh, back in the 2015 but now we uh, book via goi bibo make my trip or oyo rooms so uh, you can uh, do it that way or you can on the fly you can uh, book rooms uh, from any part of our country and you will uh, definitely uh, get rooms uh, ranging from 800 to 1200 uh, per day uh, from uh, jammu till le and till manali so uh, there are various types of hotels you will get but from 800 to 1200 you will get decent rooms so if you have uh, many people with you uh, and you, you'll be staying 3 to 4 people in one room then your expenses will uh, reduce accordingly so we always uh, uh, find a room or a hotel which is decently located and which is uh, we talk to people and uh, 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 from that uh, we understand that how the people will be so because uh, if you are traveling with the ladies or uh, your wife or uh, girlfriends or friends so you have to uh, keep these things in mind uh, so do not book nearby to railway stations because uh, we uh, had many uh, uh, bad experiences, bad experiences yeah. uh, near railway stations, railway stations uh, hotels and lodges So, so see it is upon you guys uh, you people that you have to uh, from 800 to 1200 will get decent rooms but again if you want more luxurious kind of rooms you can always yes. increase your budget and yes. uh, take we one. told uh, keeping the normal people in yeah. mind so even all we also travel on very tight budget yes. we try to keep it around 1000 we even succeeded to get uh, 1200 uh, rupees per night for a In very fact, expensive, expensive hotel we bargain a lot while <laughs> yeah so uh, see if you if you have that um, uh, the, the thing that you are going to reach this place or that place so i think mmt oyo and goibo is the best highly reca- recommended you should uh, use those apps to bo- uh, book your rooms yes nowadays uh, what we are doing when we are halfway through yeah. the journey uh, we uh, calculate that the, okay we'll be reaching this place so on the way we uh, thanks to jio <laughs> on the way we book the room and we reach that place and we you, we don't have to bargain much for that uh, exactly. rooms and hotels so uh, while on ladakh ride uh, if you are returning from leh to manali you will have to stay at least uh, two days in a tent very less people travel or stay in that region because that is completely hilly region so only uh, season wise people stay there so very less hotels are there in lemanali route but uh, you will get uh, uh, tents for 150 to 250 or 300 per day for per, per person and you will get uh, some hotels in uh, jispa and kelong as well 
so accordingly uh, you can uh, uh, get the rooms or tents so i think what we are yeah. trying to say that uh, you don't yeah. have to worry much about yeah. the stay and all don't uh, panic for stay you will eventually get it yes the another most important point is budget uh, which i mean many people are concerned about while yes. going to or starting the preparation for ladakh so uh, the budget of your over, overall trip so this budget thing we have bifurcated into uh, your trip budget and your overall budget right from your bike servicing so in your trip budget it will uh, i think petrol stay and the food is included and overall budget right from your bike servicing is uh, we are assuming you have nothing at all so the gears cost saddle bags tank bags spares bike servicing and modification cost and uh, we are considering that you are having your own bike if you want to buy a bike so that is again a whole another story <laughs> uh, and uh, you want to buy bike or you want to rent bike so that is uh, it, it is upon you yes at, uh, completely yes if you want to rent yeah. the bike uh, you can rent from delhi and you can now rent it from la city as well yeah. the people are riding from la city to nubra valley khardungla and pangong so like and come back to la and uh, go back to their home uh, while taking flights as well so coming back to the expenses we are considering that you will be on 15 days ride and you will be covering 4 to 5000 of uh, kilometers so uh, on normal roads on plain roads uh, you will be getting uh, 30 to 40 kilometers per liter of uh, mileage uh, with your bike considering uh, ranging between 150 to uh, 350 cc bikes uh, and once you enter ladakh region uh, your uh, mileage or the average of the bike will drastically reduce because uh, you'll be uh, always on first and second gear so uh, consider uh, consider your bike gives 30 to 40 uh, average uh, in normal condition in the then in ladakh condition you will be getting 20 to 25 uh, kilometers per liter so in that perspective you will be uh, spending around 10 to uh, 12 or 13000 on fuel and then uh, talking about uh, stay option uh, you will be getting uh, different types of uh, stay we are considering very tight budget so sometimes you will get uh, hotels for 800 or sometimes you will get it for 1200 or if you reach uh, some place very late then you have to take uh, some hotel then you will have to spend uh, 1500 or 2000 depending on the city so in that perspective we are considering 1000 to 1200 uh, per day so that will uh, come to around 15 to 18000 for 15 days of trip another important thing is food uh, we spend a lot for yes, <laughs> lot we spend food. a lot on, uh, <laughs> because food. we are uh, foodie kind of uh, you mean yes. but again uh, it depends on you that how much you eat or how much uh, you want to spend on food so uh, i yeah, think, I think uh, in ladakh region you will get uh, yeah. full thali for uh, 70 to 80 rupees yes. or 90 rupees and in other cities you will get uh, full meal in 150 to 180 rupees like expensive yeah yes so uh, depending upon we are considering 500 rupees for one person per day so for 15 days you will be spending 7 to 8000 we might spend a uh, little more than that because we like non veg also so yeah uh, exactly exactly so uh, the another thing is uh, we, uh, overall budget right from your bike servicing which includes your uh, spare parts yes of your bike spare parts and servicing so yes so for uh, bike servicing and uh, preparing your bike you might need 3 uh, to 5000 rupees for any bike we are considering 3 to 5000 so the decide according to your bike's need and all that uh so um, yeah so we are assuming that you have nothing at all uh, not even helmet so uh, the overall uh, budget if i say like for the helmet riding jacket gloves riding uh, shoes riding pants your uh, if you're not if you're not taking riding jacket then your uh, elbow guard and knee guard so all the all the overall budget we would say that approximately 25000 
to 35,000 depending on the brands you are taking or yes. uh, the brands, uh, the prices would vary yes. from brand yeah. to brand. Helmet might cost 2,000 to uh, 5,000, jacket might cost from 5,000 till 12,000, 15,000. Mm. Uh, there is a uh, lot of possibilities in that. Exactly. So uh, lower limit would be 20,000 for years and upper limit would be uh, endless. <laughs> so because uh, try to save on those things and uh, buy good gears because those will last for very long time. Two to three years all the riding jackets and pants. So I don't think so that is expense it comes into expenses. It is your uh, investment yes. Yes, for that your is future your ride. Yeah, so uh, that is one thing. Uh, again, if you don't have tank bag, so uh, if you we have Rhinox tank tank bag, so it cost uh, approximately six thousand. Yes, Rhinox Navigator costed us around two one five zero, and Rhinox Optimus M, which we bought, that is for three two five zero. So we have two different types of uh, tank bags. We will put link in the description below. Along with that, uh, you might need to buy uh, saddle bags. So there are many options. We have Viaterra Lay saddle bag. If you are riding solo, then Viaterra Claw is very good. Or uh, Rhinox's uh, saddle bags are there. Those are very good for CBR. That's what I think we are planning to buy for our CBRs because we are having uh, two CBRs now. So we might uh, buy Rhinox Nomad uh, 2.0. I think this is the most important questions a lot of people have asked us about like budgeting, budgeting. So yeah, so this is all the, this is, these, I think you need to save for a few months and you will be all okay. Yes, you are not going for this ride uh, every month yeah. or every year. So budget we save for six months? Yes, we save for six <laughs> months because uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we planned for around 40,000, 40 to 45,000 but we end up paying little more than that and after coming back uh, from the ride also you have to spend a lot on your bike's maintenance mm. because lot of things might get broken, our uh, suspension uh, were broken, headlights, lot of things. Like it, depend, uh, it, depend it depends, it depends. Yeah, so uh, that is the approximate things, it depends. Yes, uh, so issues you uh, consider 50,000 as upper limit and carry some extra cash I think we even risked well. one point is about transportation of your bike. If you are not coming, uh, if you are not yeah. coming back uh, on bike. Riding on bike, yeah. So riding on bike. So I think you have to transport your bike which will again cost you 5,000. Uh, then uh, your train tickets or your flight tickets, flight tickets whichever you whatever. prefer. Yes. So I think that, uh, that, that cost is something uh, which isn't yes. so write budget. down all the points what mm. you are uh, going to uh, spend on mm. and accordingly decide yeah. so uh, whatever the plan you come up with 40000 is the minimum amount we think uh, you need to per go head. yeah per head to go to ladakh yeah. and upper limit is uh, again depends on a lot of things so uh, so this is all about the budget thing so that's it guys uh, these are all the points we uh, we could think of and thought of sharing with you guys so hope this was uh, really very uh, useful for you guys so if you think uh, we have not covered anything or we have missed out or if you want to know something more about which uh, you are you have very much concern about before going to Ladakh right so do put in your comments below we would be happy to uh, reply to those comments this, these are the points which we thought about but again yes. there are always a few more questions which you might be having for yes. us so yeah we will definitely reply you uh, and uh, we always wanted to make this video before uh, before before releasing our uh, Ladakh series uh, because many many people uh, questioned us for these, this particular video about the questions which they have so the very important thing guys never 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 give up uh, of course preparation sab kar lete hain ready yes. ho jate hain chalo chalo ride jayenge <laughs> and then they feel low with the confidence yes. confidence kya ab kya hoga ab, ab, agar main if i'm going up in the mountain and if my bike doesn't start or if my diet uh, if my uh, bike doesn't climb any pass then what will happen, what will happen? if my uh, bike's tire get punctured Punch then you. what will happen see bad times it will go you have to you have to conquer your ride see uh, again uh, conquer is not the good or correct word to use here because you cannot conquer any mountains you can just yes. enjoy and live your dreams yes. you can uh, you can have fun in those mountains you can 
but you, you can, can never, never conquer it. Yeah. So you can never really conquer any any mountains. mountains. But yes, you have to make this mindset that you have to ride complete. Karni hai. You have to yes. come back home to your dear ones. दिमाग से सोचो कि आपको ये चीज करना है अगर इफ देर इज हैवी स्नोफॉल कहीं पर एंड यू फील दैट ओके अब नहीं मुझे करना ही है मुझे जाना ही थिंक लॉजिकली यार ठीक है यू हैव बफर डेज एक ज्यादा से ज्यादा एक दिन जाएगा थोड़ा पैसा जाएगा ज्यादा से ज्यादा राइट बट बट यू विल बी बैक टू योर डियर वन डोंट गेट स्टार्ट इन स्नो एंड सो गाइज इफ यू आर bikes tires get punctured in between so do not be disheartened if you don't know how to punct uh, how to remove the puncture and inflate your tire wait for uh, 15 to 20 minutes some riders will be passing uh, there and they might help you ask ask them for help if uh, after couple of hours also if you don't get any help you can always put your bike in the tr- army trucks army guys are the most yes. lovely people in our country and uh, they will uh, definitely help you with the breakdown also yes and i think uh, there will be uh, the trucks or the army tr- the normal trucks even even yes. the normal even trucks the, uh, the military trucks there are a lot of trucks which keeps on passing those passes yes. right so don't get disheartened kya zyada zyada kya hoga thoda paisa jayega ek din jayega buffer day buffer day jayega na lekin come on you don't get yes. disheartened that you have to load your bike and truck and then you have to take it to the puncher yes. uh, mechanic and then remove the puncher आपको पंचर निकालने नहीं आता है इट्स ओके हम लोग को भी नहीं आता था राइट बट वी आर लर्निंग नाउ वी इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट टू लर्न एंड टू नो हाउ टू रिमूव पंचर बट इट्स नॉट मैंडेटरी इट्स नॉट कंपलसरी रोहतांग पास आगे का ब्रेक सबसे ज्यादा यूज करती थी पीछे का भी ब्रेक मतलब वो वो रेशो yes. नहीं पता था तो वाइल डिसेंडिंग फ्रॉम रोहतांग आई वॉज आई आई लर्न हाउ टू यूज इंजन ब्रेकिंग आई डेट दैट और गुस्से में नहीं उतरी एंड मैन आई एक्चुअली केम डाउन रोहतांग रीचे आई वॉज आई वॉज I was so emotional ki yaar kaise yaar kyun hua mera mera 2 mahine mein right i i learned uh, riding a bike aur ye ye mere sath hi hona tha that my brake failed completely yes that to front 15 days was was a lot of peace We did not have a peaceful ride. It was every day, every day, कुछ ना कुछ होता था to, to our bikes or such. In का lot of things, accidents yes. and uh, breakdowns on bi- yes. bikes. You have to uh, yes. stay tuned uh, to uh, know all the problems we went through. Yes. Uh, starting from day one till day eighteen, last day पे भी एक tragedy हुआ था. So you have to stay tuned to our channel. <laughs> stay subscribed. Share uh, this channel with your friends. Yes, you know yes. you you actually should see our Ladakh series. It is one of yes. the most tragic. Yes. <laughs> Even right. when, uh, you people, we are very excited uh, to share our story. Just never give up. Yeah. On Because anything. Because when we were with you, 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 you guys and that yes. is the reason why we want to share each and every single yes. bit yes we will be delayed in posting our po- uh, our you know our uh, videos hum log utna nahi shayad fatafat kar payenge because we work we even work we are night yes. profession but yes we will do that we want to share everything every yes. bits and parts So so that, or later we'll be uh, posting yes, everything. Everything. So, uh, just remember one thing: never give up, and uh, there will be good time ahead. जो भी बुरा time है वो निकल जाएगा. Also see positive things in your negative uh, things. Yes. जो भी negative हो रहा है आपके साथ यू should find positive in that, yes. and you should keep yourself motivated. Don't yes. let your motivation get down, not for a minute. क्योंकि वो टेरिन पे एक ही चीज विच विल हेल्प यू टू गो थ्रू ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स इज योर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड मोटिवेशन एंड हाउ यू फेस दोज प्रॉब्लम्स ब्रेवली
so keep some buffer days one or two buffer days for 15 days right and if your plan doesn't go according to what you thought of so cancel one or two places uh, from your plan as we uh, cancelled uh, Nubra Valley and Somoriri Lake and we continued with whatever uh, days uh, left in our hands so that's all it's there. important uh, yeah. that you uh, watch out for your health if it doesn't support you uh, it's always okay to uh, miss out one or two places that's always fine no yes. problem always think about your family first okay Yes, when, uh, yes, so do not uh, ride rash uh, in the mountains because a lot of things might happen. Yeah. Take utmost care while riding. Do not go towards cliffside. If you are height phobic, then Kiran is very height phobic. Uh, I'm, I'm phobic yes. to Ladakh ride. Even now, when I, I think about Ladakh ride, or still when I saw the trailer of Ladakh ride, I felt so emotional. I felt so. Uh, anyway, so it's okay. So yes, uh, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. Any yes. questions, please put down in the comments and we'll definitely revert you. Yes, with hit the answers. like button. Okay, until the time. Keep roaming. And right, safe. safe. Uh, if you... Hey, what's going on? I'm going to go to the city.